Hello everybody, welcome to Crafty Soup. My name is Misty. I am here today with the Freckled Fawn Kit Unboxing. And whenever I do an unboxing, I do a project. And I have a little more info to share with you about this new to me kit that I am receiving. So let's go ahead and dive in. So before I open up my package, I wanted to let you know that I am now an affiliate with Freckled Fawn, which means I will receive a very small commission if you decide to purchase anything. And the little bit of the exciting news about that is if you use my coupon code, which is up there on the screen, it's crafty soup, all lowercase, no spaces. I'll drop that in the description down below. If you use that coupon code, not only do I get a, an affiliate bonus thank you, you get 15% off of anything you purchase. So as we dive into this package, one of the things I really like about Freckled Fawn is that you can purchase any of these pieces individually. You do not have to sign up for a subscription and you do not have to sign up for everything that you see me unboxing. You can pick and choose. And that is definitely one of the big reasons why I chose to start receiving these kits. Um, as we go through, I will show you what is coming in my kit. I have the six by eight scrapbooking kit, which has six by eight pattern papers, as well as plenty of goodies. I also add to my monthly kit the this pack of ephemera die cuts, so that is an add-on to what I've chosen. And in fact, this month I ordered two ephemera die pack pieces and I only received one because you do have a chance to order extra pieces at the very beginning of the month. So I have contacted Freckle Fawn's customer service. I haven't heard back from them yet, um, but it's only been less than a day. So I will let you know how their customer service is because this is my first kit or well, it's my technically third kit with them, but uh, you know, I'm new to them. And so I'm curious to see what their customer service is gonna be like. Uh, what I just showed you on screen is the back of one of these packages has a, a printing on it that is like a journal card kind of thing, which I am going to actually put to use in my project today. So that was a little fun extra bonus. I peeked at all the other um, backs and I didn't uh, see anything like that on anything else. So that was a little fun surprise. Now, what I sh when I showed you my kit last month, I showed you these chipboard stickers. Only last month I didn't realize they were stickers. I did try peeling off the backings last month and I didn't have any luck with them, so I didn't think they were actually stickers. However, I have learned since then that yes, they are stickers, but the backing is a little tough to remove. So not my favorite to have that tough backing, but nice that they're stickers. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then along with my kit, I get a set of mini alphas and a set of larger puffy alphas. I love mixing and matching my fonts, so that is fantastic. The mini alphas this month have gold foiling on them and they're just beautiful. That kind of dusty, corally pink color is is becoming a favorite of mine. I don't like the baby pink, but I really like the dusty corally pink. So, you know, <laughs> colors are just one of my nitpicky things. At any rate, I am giving you a look at everything in this kit, including these six by eight pattern papers. Now they do have 12 by 12 pattern papers, if that's your jam. Um, I don't like paying the extra shipping on that size. So I am just sticking with this size because it's a little bit more budget friendly. So I am ready to move on to a project with this kit and I am so excited about how this one came out. I think it came out beautifully. I have this photo and some of the pictures are covered for privacy. I also off to the side, I have a sketch that I'm using. I create my own sketches and I offer them up for free if you don't know that about me, but I love using other people's sketches as well. In fact, I'm taking a whole sketch class because I love sketches. So I've got that off to the side. It is part of that class, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to show the sketch on screen or not. We can definitely show our projects for sure, but I will leave you links to that sketch class if you're interested. Um, the sketch is by Allison Davis, I believe is her name. She's part of the Scrapbook Generation Company. It's a family owned business and she's one, one of the family and she creates sketches for the company. At any rate, I am using that sketch off to the side so that I can reference back to it as I go. I am cutting down this card that was on the back of my enamel dots. I'm saving that little rainbow piece because who doesn't love a little rainbow? <laughs> I don't know what I will do with it. It will probably end up getting recycled, but it is so pretty. I just needed to save it. I couldn't throw it away. All right. 
as I'm working this layout, I am going to use that little card to hold my journaling because I love a good ledger for journaling. The sketch has some stitching going across and I didn't really feel like heading over to my sewing machine. I, I do that plenty. Um, I just didn't feel like it today. So I'm going to replace that stitching with the washi tape and I think that's a great use for the washi tape. So I've started getting everything kind of positioned how I want it and I've started uh, gluing things down. And what I liked about the sketch was this kind of blocky style, which works perfectly by with these um, six by eight size pieces so that you can get blocks of pattern and color in the background and you don't have to use a whole sheet of pattern paper. You don't have to cut down, you know, something pretty into smaller pieces and then have lots of leftover scraps. So this six by eight block of color is is a perfect use for this sketch and um, this is why I have no problems using this size of pattern paper on my full 12 by 12 um, layouts and then I don't have to pay the extra shipping for the 12 by 12 papers. All right, so I am being very nitpicky as I put this together about borders and things. So I want just a smidgen of certain borders lying around and exposed so that I get the flow and movement of those borders. I did get the first part of my title down on there with the larger puffy stickers. And because I love to mix and match my titles, I'm gonna do the rest of my title with the tiny letters. And I am going to go ahead and layer them up on some of these um, cardstock stickers that come in the kit every month. And these are a nice thick cardstock. I do really like those. I did not add any extra glue to any of this stuff this time. Last month I did just because I, I didn't trust that it would stick because so many things don't. So far, I haven't had a problem, but we'll see how these hold up in the long term. Um, and I'm sure you can hear my comments on that if it is a problem down the road in the future. So we'll see. We'll see. I didn't add any extra glue, um, not because I was trying to test it out, but just because I forgot. Um, at any rate, uh, I really wanted to use the florals in this kit. Now, in the past, I have not been a huge floral person. But I, I love flowers. I absolutely love flowers, but they never feel like they fit my photos because my photos are just super candid, informal photos. And the flowers always feel more formal and, and you know, softer than what my photos are. And so I really wanted to use flowers this time. And I'm, I'm going to get in the habit of using more flowers, even if my photos are, are less formal than that. So I did write my journaling and set it aside because that cardstock is a little bit glossy. It did need a little bit extra time to dry. I used a tissue to test it to make sure it was dry so that I wouldn't smudge it. Ask me how many times I have smudged journaling in the past, about a million. So I was trying to be really careful with this because I liked that card and I didn't want to ruin it. At any rate, I am continuing to layer up all of these things around here. And um, I'm really hoping that I can get my second package of flowers because I used about half of the package on this one layout. And as I layer these, I really am trying to layer them, meaning that I am tucking things under, tucking things over. And even with some of like the leafy, these bigger cluster of leaves that have well, it'll be coming up. The bigger cluster of leaves have edges to them where each leaf ends and the next one begins. So those edges can be um, both folded up to give it a little more dimension, tucked under, tucked over. So I like to really layer these things as I'm going. In addition, I am also trying to add in some of the chipboard pieces. Now I didn't get a lot added in to this layout um, for a couple of reasons. Am I starting? To, no, here's where I'm starting to work with those bigger pieces. So as you notice, I tuck a few of the leaves under the photo and then one of the leaves goes over the photo above my head. So those are the little details that I like to add when I'm doing these layering. And also some things are popped up on foam dots and some are not. So here's where I'm starting to work with those chipboard pieces. That little piece says weekend and I thought that would be nice because this was Easter Sunday. Um, and then I was looking for other pieces that I could add in and I I didn't really want any more words too near the title because that can be distracting. Now, I don't always do this. A lot of times, a lot of embellishments have plenty of words on them, so I will just use them. But I, I had, you know, very specific words here, so I wanted to keep them separated out so that they didn't interfere with the title. So I'm just going to use the one chipboard up there that says making memories, and I replaced the weekend one. I'll use that for something else. And then I added a little chipboard flower to one of my clusters, 
and then just a few more bits and pieces here and there and and that will um, finish off my clustering. So I try to get a little bit of chipboard in here and there as well as some of these other embellishments. Now I love these wood hearts this month. They're a darker brown than a lot of typical wood veneer and I find that very fresh and beautiful and I'm a wood veneer fan anyway. Your mileage may vary with wood veneer but that is one of my go-to elements and because they haven't been super popular in recent years um, I miss them. And so that was another reason I chose Freckled Fawn is because I want those wood veneer embellishments. So these ones are heart this, hearts this month. E even though this is a February kit and it has a nod to Valentine's Day with things like the hearts and the pinks, it is not overly themed. And that is another reason why I picked Freckled Fawn because I don't use a lot of heavily themed items. And so these are, these are the things that go through my mind when I'm working on stuff. Um, I have some enamel dots here. I'm just gonna throw in a few of these around the layout and actually I'm clustering the colors. So this cluster will get pink, one gets white and the other one gets a, a different shade of pink. So as I give you a close up view here, I have to apologize. My lighting has been off cause I, I lost a light fixture in my room and so I've had to rearrange some things and the current lighting setup is kind of blowing out everything and I apologize for that. But hopefully some of these close-up pictures will have slightly better lighting and you can see the detail a little bit more. And I'm hoping to get this lighting situation fixed in the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, here are these still photos for you. I hope you enjoyed seeing this unboxing and the project that I did with it. And again, if you're interested in purchasing any of these pieces, you can use my coupon code crafty soup, all lowercase, no spaces in the final checkout of the shop where you will have a space to enter the coupon code. And I have more videos scheduled for you all this week. So I hope you will join me for the rest of that. And until then, have an artful day.